You've probably seen the sculpture all over the internet, in movies, magazines, and books. The artist behind this masterpiece is none other than Auguste Rodin. Auguste Rodin was a French sculptor born in Paris on November 12th, 1840, to Jean-Baptiste, a civil servant, and Marie, a homemaker. At the early age of 14, his parents enrolled him in the special school of drawing and mathematics. There, his love for sculpting was born. In 1857, Rodin applied for the École des Beaux-Arts. He passed his drawing exam, but failed the sculpting exam three times. However, this did not stop him from doing what he loves. In order to make a living, Rodin would work in the art studios of sculptors and artists. The death of Rodin's sister Maria paved the way for his first work and his career in general. After her death, Rodin dove into religion and joined the Fathers of the Most Blessed Sacrament. There he sculpted Father Aymar. In 1877, after coming back from studying Michelangelo's works in Italy, Rodin creates his famous artwork, The Age of Brass. During that time, the state asks of him to make the Gates of Hell, inspired by Dante's Inferno. Rodin definitely became a household name. In 1883, while being a substitute professor for one of his fellow artists, Rodin met Camille Claudel. Claudel was extremely talented, which caught the attention of her teacher. And from there, a passionate relationship was ignited. She became his muse and lover for well over 15 years. Despite the passionate relationship, Rodin refused to marry Camille Claudel, and eventually Claudel had to separate herself from him. Camille Claudel passed away in 1943. In 1880, Rodin makes his first draft for The Thinker as part of the Gates of Hell. However, the bronze model wasn't completed until 1902 and presented to the public in 1904. Auguste Rodin passed away in Meudon, France, on November 17, 1970. Regardless of the epoch or generation, Rodin's art is timeless. His work captures what truly makes us human, and thus anyone from any time in human history can relate and be drawn to his masterpieces.